Want to speak real Turkish from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at TurkishClass101.com. Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Welcome to Top Words. Today, we are going to be talking about top 25 phrases in Turkish. Let's begin. Merhaba. Hello. Our first word is merhaba, meaning hello. We use merhaba, for example, when we are being introduced to someone else. After, say, for example, we are introduced and we say merhaba. When we say the H between the um, R and A is lost. Merhaba. Nice to meet you. Merhaba. Günaydın. Good morning. Our second word is Günaydın, meaning good morning. We always use it, of course, in the mornings. Günaydın. İyi günler. Good afternoon. Our third word is iyi günler, meaning good afternoon. İyi geceler. Good night. Our fourth word is iyi geceler, meaning good night. İyi geceler. This is how I sound when I say iyi geceler. İyi geceler. Adın ne? What's your name? Our fifth word is adın ne? What's your name? Büşra, what's, it, what's yours? Ben. I am. Our sixth word is ben, meaning I'm. For example, I am Büşra. Büşra'yım. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Our seventh word is Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. Meaning, nice to meet you. Tanıştığımıza memnun oldum. This is how it sounds when I don't slow it down. Nasılsın? How are you? Our eighth word is Nasılsın? Meaning, how are you? It goes like Nasılsın? İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? I'm fine. And you? Our ninth word is İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? I'm fine. And you? Lütfen. Please. Our tenth word is Lütfen. Meaning please. <laughs> it goes like Lütfen, lütfen, lütfen, lütfen. No, it doesn't go like that. Lütfen. Teşekkür 
ederim. Thank you. Our eleventh word is teşekkür ederim. Meaning thank you. You can also say teşekkürler if you want to shorten it. Teşekkürler. Rica ederim. You are welcome. Our twelfth word is rica ederim. Meaning you are welcome. Rica ederim. Evet. Yes. Our thirteenth word is evet. Meaning yes. Hayır. No. Our fourteenth word is hayır. Meaning no. Tamam. Okay. Our fifteenth word is tamam. Meaning okay. Affedersiniz. Excuse me. Our sixteen word is affedersiniz. Meaning excuse me. Özür dilerim. I'm sorry. Our seventeenth word is özür dilerim. Meaning I'm sorry. Saat kaç? What time is it? Our eighteenth word is saat kaç? What time is it? Saat kaç? Banyo nerede? Where is the restroom? Our nineteenth word is banyo nerede? Where is the restroom? Dur bir dakika. Wait a moment. Our twentieth word is dur bir dakika. Meaning wait a moment. Bu ne kadar? How much is this? Our twenty-first word is bu ne kadar? Meaning how much is this? Hesap lütfen. Check please. Our twenty-second word is. Hesap lütfen. Check please. Tebrikler. Congratulations. Our twenty-third word is tebrikler, meaning congratulations. Görüşürüz. See you later. Our twenty-fourth word is görüşürüz, meaning see you later. Güle güle. Goodbye. Our twenty-fifth word is "güle güle," meaning goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today we talked about the top twenty-five phrases in Turkish. Don't forget to check out TurkishClass101.com to learn more Turkish, and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks again. Teşekkür ederim. Görüşürüz. See you later. Hoşçakalın. Bye bye. Lütfen. Please, Lütfen, Lütfen, Lütfen. Selam, ben Zehra. Hi, I'm Zehra. Welcome to Turkish Class 101.com's 3 Dakikada Türkçe. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Turkish. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude to people by saying Teşekkürler. In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Turkey. Hazır mısınız? Are you ready? Hadi başlayalım o zaman. So let's start then. The most used informal greeting is Selam. Se-lam. Selam means hi or hello. Because it's so casual, we should only use this greeting with friends or relatives. If you're greeting someone you don't know, you should use a more formal phrase. Merhaba. Mer ha ba. Merhaba means hi or hello too. If you want to make the greeting a little bit more formal, you can say iyi günler. İyi günler. İyi günler means good morning and good afternoon. In fact, you can use it all day. From morning until evening. During the evening, we say iyi akşamlar. İyi akşamlar. In an informal parting situation, Turkish people use güle güle. Güle güle. Güle güle means goodbye. Finally, in Turkish, 
we have an expression meaning, hope to see you soon, that can be considered both formal and informal. Görüşmek üzere. Görüşmek üzere. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Turkish. Let's review them all again. When meeting older people or someone we don't know, merhaba. When meeting friends or relatives, selam. When greeting people from morning to afternoon, iyi günler. When greeting people in the evening, iyi akşamlar. When living in an informal situation, güle güle. When living in a formal or an informal situation, görüşmek üzere. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Zehra's insights. If you can't remember how to say goodbye in Turkish, you can just say bye bye. Bye bye. This expression is pretty casual, but at least nobody in Turkey will have any trouble understanding you. In the next lesson, we will learn the meaning of the phrase Konuşabiliyor musun? Do you already know it? We will be waiting to talk about it with you in our next 3 Dakikada Türkçe lesson. Görüşmek üzere. To master a new language and understand everything as soon as you hear it, to read with just a quick glance and speak smoothly without thinking, you need to review. Here are our top five review tactics. Number one, listen to examples over and over again. By listening closely and often, you start to pick up the rhythm of a language, as well as correct pronunciation from a native speaker. Use our line-by-line -line feature that lets you both listen and read along. Use this tool to practice as much as possible. Number two, Use our voice recording tool to master perfect pronunciation. Record yourself and compare it against the native speaker. If you sound different, then repeat after the native speaker until you're able to match them. Use our voice recording feature, which makes recording super easy. Number three, master your recorded conversations. Record conversations and go over them again and again. Master entire conversations and repeat them line by line. Use any of the dialogues available for download on our website. These come with transcripts of the entire conversation. Number four, use mobile devices to reinforce previously learned conversations. Constant review is the best way to progress in your language studies. Download the recorded dialogue to your mobile device and incorporate it into your music playlist. Quick reviews throughout the day effectively reinforce what you've learned. Number five, read with line-by-line -line notes. Read along with a native speaker to really master pronunciation and natural intonation. You should start slow at first, then slowly increase your speed. Your pronunciation will become more natural. You will also see that your ability to understand fluent speakers will greatly increase. You'll be able to improve your communication skills using these five simple review techniques. Increase your understanding of your target language. And remember, if you're interested in getting all these review tools, sign up for your free lifetime account. No credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start reviewing more every day. Want to finally learn Turkish the fast, fun, and easy way? In this video, I'll show you the top 10 ways to get started. So let's begin. Number one, take your very first lesson. Access any audio or video lesson on turkishclass101.com and just press the play button to get started. Don't have an account? Don't worry. Just go to the sign up page to create an account. It takes less than 30 seconds and it's free. We have thousands of audio and video lessons covering a variety of topics like grammar, pronunciation, listening, and reading. Just click on the play button on any lesson and start learning. Number two, read along with the lesson. You can read along with the lesson notes or lesson transcript. These come with every lesson. The lesson notes provide you with the dialogue for the scene taught in the lesson, along with translations, a more in-depth explanation of the grammar and culture, and even vocab and sample sentences. The lesson transcript is the full word-for-word -word transcript of everything you hear in the lesson. 
and the Dialogue Study tool provides you with the audio for the lesson dialogue, along with the translations. Number three, shadowing. Shadowing is a tested learning technique where you repeat what you hear. This is a great way to start speaking in minutes and practice speaking in general. If you're listening along with the lesson audio or dialogue, be sure to shadow along the way. Number four, use the dialogue study tool to master the conversation. Here, you get the line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation demonstrated in the lesson. Listen and repeat until you've mastered each line. Do this until you've mastered the entire conversation. Number five, use the voice recorder to perfect your pronunciation and speaking. In the dialogue study tool, you'll find a microphone icon next to each line. Click on it to record your voice. Then, compare it with the native speakers. Listen and adjust your pronunciation until you match that of the native speaker. Number six, review vocab with the lesson vocabulary list. Vocabulary words are the building blocks of language. You can save vocab words taught in each lesson by clicking on Add to Word Bank. Want to drill the words with smart flashcards instead? Just click on Add to Flashcard Deck to do so. Number seven, listen to the review track. If you've studied an audio lesson before, just listen to the review track so that you don't have to listen through the entire lesson again. This is a great way to reinforce the material that you've learned and it's great to have on the go. Just access any audio lesson and click on the download icon. Then click review to download the review track. Number eight, review with quizzes after the lesson. Once you're confident enough with the material taught in the lesson, be sure to take the quiz to test your newfound knowledge. Take the review questions and answer true or false for each one. Or take the writing questions and input your answer. Remember to check the answers by clicking on the check answers button. Number nine, participate and leave a comment. The best way to master what you've learned is to use it. Join the community of learners by leaving a comment below at the end of every lesson. Our dedicated teachers will check your responses to correct you on any mistakes or provide you with helpful study tips and advice. And finally, number 10, move on to the next lesson. Done with a lesson? Mark the lesson as complete. You can see your overall learning progress on your dashboard. If you particularly enjoyed the lesson, mark the lesson as favorite so that you can come back to it later at any time. Click on the forward arrow to move on to the next lesson and continue learning. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn Turkish, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. Remember, you can sign up to TurkishClass101.com by clicking on the link in the description. Sign up takes less than 30 seconds, and it's free. I'll see you next time. Bye! You've decided to study a new language, so now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources.
Start learning now.